Yo, what's up guys, it's Trevor here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be I'm going to be showing you how I build a high converting homepage. Now, before we jump into the video, a home, why a homepage and a high converting homepage is very important is because of one, when your visitors, usually when you direct them to a product page, some visitors decide to check out the homepage because they're not convinced that they want to buy from your website yet. And the entire objective of the homepage is to welcome um, new customers to your brand um, and the entire objective of the home base is, is to convince them that you're a legit brand and not a fly-by um, scamming dropshipping store um, that just was made last night so the entire point of the home page at the end of the day is nothing fancy but it's just to convince the customer and make yourself and your brand um, a well and trustworthy brand so let's jump on the computer now. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take a example um, that you can find on myip.ms, an example of a dropshipping or an e-commerce brand in general. And we're basically gonna copy their design, but not exactly because we're not doing exactly and selling exactly what they're doing. So let's jump on the computer and show you from there. All right, welcome back guys. We're now on the computer and we are logged in to our demo YouTube Shopify account. And for this example, in this video, we will be using the, the Beautify theme. Now the Beautify is free if you are wondering, and you can easily pick this up if you just Google search the Beautify and, and install it to your own Shopify store. And the main reason why I like the Beautify over something like Dawn or Debut is because um, I was using the Dawn previously, however, there is a bit of compatibility issues with some apps. So for now, I've been switching back to the Beautify because of how compatible it is and has all the features that you need to get and create a high converting product page and home page. So basically, we are on the home page and right now we have basically nothing. We have um, basically this little guarantee section like right here we can go ahead and, and hide this and what this does is once we turn off the section this will delete that from the page now i will leave a resource which is my ip.ms on this website you can easily search inside my uh inside ip owner slash parent ip owner if you go ahead and select the drop down at shopify you can go, basically click search and it will show you a list of the highest uh most visited shopify stores um and then you can just use this these numbers to sort by rank of how many visitors they're getting um and then basically you can look through any of these find a website that you like and i basically did it for you right here i found a website called oplex that is selling um some sort of shampoo and you can see from here it looks like a very um branded website in from here we're basically gonna take their design and um, mimic it for our own ecom website. So you can see they have a giant website or a giant image right here that says "Better, Brighter Hair Days Are Here," and then they have a call to action and they have the product image. We can do the same right here. Now I didn't have I didn't prepare any of these images, so um, it is what it is. So. Once we go and click on add section, we're gonna find a featured image. And this is essentially what um, this is. It is basically a featured image. You can have it showed on desktop, mobile, or in full width. We can select the image from there and then we have it, we can have a call to action. Um, now I don't have the image obviously, like I said, but over here we have basically like a font or I mean a text box right here and then an image. And we can do the same essentially right here. If we go to add section, we can find image with text. And basically we can do the same thing, add an image. Since the image is right on this example, we can essentially just switch it over by going to image alignment and switching over to right. And then we can add our own text um, and then our body text right here. So, so far looking so good. And then let's go back on here. Next up, they have a bigger image right here and then a text. Um, on the side in a call to action. Um, you, you can see they're always having call to actions down here. We can essentially do the same thing by uh, click on image with text and we can, um, let's see, they have the image on the left and we already have it on the left. So 
um, we can definitely we can change the text size if it's too big and then we can add in our body paragraphs we can have our call to action um, so whatever your call to action to be usually you want to have some sort of product right here or some sort of collections that you can have a, a button link to uh, and then the main image right here you essentially want to have either the main product we're selling or some sort of representation of your website so let's say you're in your furniture niche you have a furniture niche shopify store what would you put right here you would either put like a lifestyle image or some sort of furniture um, but it just shouldn't be just one single product it should be like a collection of products that you can display right here now if you're drop shipping then it's going to be a little bit harder to get some sort of image right here but i recommend finding some images from shutterstock pexels pixabay or any other free image sources so you can put this in here for the meantime while you grow over a brand then you can take custom images to replace it but from here we can go back to the website that we found and you can see that they have more um you know a product in a um, call to action in a text box so we can essentially do the same if we want to but we don't have to exactly um, whoops we don't actually have to follow their exact footprint but we can essentially mimic it to a certain extent because since they're already getting a ton of traffic and their website is most likely high converting um, since they're getting a ton of traffic um, according to my IP.ms so from here, they have a collections list and we can do the same thing on Debutify by just clicking on the add section and click on featured collections. Um, we can either do featured collections or we can do a collection list. And with a collections list, you're gonna have like a little box instead of a featured collection which shows the actual product. So from here, you can go back to here and, and it looks like some sort, uh, this is more similar to the featured collection or yeah, featured collection. Um, where they have a bunch of different products right here, but you can play around with um, either or however for this example We're going to remove the collection list and then all right So from this fe feature collection, we can go back here. They have some sort of um, quote or something Something about the brand essentially is the main message from here from and we can do the exact same thing we can you know either add another image with text or we can do some sort of testimonial which would probably be quite similar or we can do something else we can add a video which could be very effective but i tend not to do videos inside of home pages because it does slow it down unless you are a developer and you know how to lazy load your website but without getting too complex we can just use a testimonial template or we can do something like um a gallery or even um, some sort of blog post works as well and um, from here we can see they have essentially some stories and then a, a call to action to their social media page um, we can do the same thing essentially um this is basically blogs so we can just go ahead and find blog posts and we have our blog post feature here if we want more per row we can have it very 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 similar to what they're doing and then lastly they have um, some sort of follow for them follow them on their social platforms um, let me see we can either have a newsletter which is probably the second best since we don't have anything similar to follow um, since we have a follow us on social media down here already so the next best option is usually it would be um, probably a newsletter so that is pretty much the exact layout that I would use for a home page. Now you don't want to bombard the customer with a bunch of products because it makes it look very scammy and, and it makes your brand seem like all you want to do is sell, sell, sell. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, now for more examples, just literally go to my myip.ms and browse some of these big brands because if they're getting a lot of traffic and their home page is as good as it is you can essentially copy what they're doing you don't need to reinvent the wheel and just mimic what they're doing but tailor it to your brand so hopefully if you found some value from this video on how to build a high converting home page without using any other third-party apps like pagefly gem pages um, shogun um, just using the, the 
the default debut uh, sorry the debutify theme you can create a high converting um, home page so if you enjoyed this make sure you smash that like button and until next time it's been trevor and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out